Hello there. Today's video is um, is a little dangerous in the fact that I am giving technical advice to non-techs, uh, but it's a question that I get asked a lot, and it's usually goes something like, I have an old computer that I'm going to get rid of, and I want to make sure that all my personal data is removed, so how can I do that? That's usually what people want to know. How can they make sure that all of their personal data has been removed from the computer? At which point I say, the only way to be certain about it is to pull out the hard drive, which is where the data is stored at, and destroy the hard drive. Break it in half, drill holes through it, drop it in dry ice and shatter it, something. Beat it with a large hammer. Um, that's a little extreme for people. They don't want to go into pulling parts out of their desktop or worse laptop and uh, doing it wrong or picking the wrong part or whatever um, so what I usually tell them is there's free software that will do it uh, and that software is called Derek's Boot and Newt now let's uh, I'm gonna get a little technical here and use some analogies um, all data well, most data is stored on the hard drive magnetically. Uh, that's how most hard drives work. Uh, it will uh, it will store on it magnetically, and when you delete a file, it just deletes references to that file. So theoretically, the hard drive is still charged with files that have been deleted until those files have been written over. Now to use a non-technical example, uh, imagine you have a chalkboard or actually let's say you've painted a wall uh, and you've written something on that wall. Uh, theoretically you could paint over it uh, so that you couldn't read what was written on the wall um, but if you use cheap paint you're gonna have to do it multiple times because it'll bleed through the paint sometimes. Anybody that's covered up graffiti has seen that before. Well, that's what this program will do. Uh, with your old files, it's possible for me to read the old magnetic charges on your hard drive and figure out what files were there before, whereas this program will write over the entire hard drive multiple times with zeros so that if I try to read the old magnetic charge on your hard drive all I'm going to see is a bunch of zeros so that's not going to do me any good it's like covering the graffiti over with multiple layers of paint um, but it's a free download it's called Derek's Boot and Nuke uh, available from dban.org d-b-a-n Dot org. Uh, I'm going to be using the version that comes with Ultimate Boot CD. It's a CD that I usually recommend to techs uh, because it has a lot of useful tools such as Derek's Boot and Nuke. Uh, but you're welcome to download the one from dband.org. Uh, I'll just point out the differences between the two. But I cannot stress this enough. This will erase everything off the computer. So hopefully when you pass this computer off to family or friends, whoever it is, then you still have the install disks that came with this window, uh, came with this computer, so they can reinstall Windows, or they're capable of going to the store and buying a copy of Windows to put on this computer. So, because, so they're going to spend money either on buying a copy of Windows or time reinstalling Windows because nothing will survive this computer. Hardware wise it'll be fine. Software wise it'll be broken. So I, uh, I have the CD in. Here's the computer. But we're not going to run it inside of Windows. This is a live Linux disk which is fancy tech talk for saying that there's a whole operating system on this CD and it will run from this CD. But we have to make some, uh, we have to check some things on the computer. Uh, I'm not doing this on a real computer, I'm doing it on a virtual computer so you can see the whole settings. So I'm going to reboot the computer. 
and boot to the uh, CD. All right, so uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into what's called the BIOS to uh, run the CD before it gets to the hard drive, which is before Windows starts. All right, so I've paused it here. Uh, when your computer starts, it'll show a screen. It's called the splash screen because your computer's made by Dell or HP or Acer or whoever made your computer. Uh, it shows the computer manufacturer on the splash screen. And then somewhere on that screen is going to say, press a key to run setup. As you can see on mine, it's the third line. It says press delete to run setup, which means I need to press the delete key on my keyboard. You will not have this long. You will have a second at the most, probably more like half a second. So you may have to restart the computer multiple times to actually see what... Uh, what the key is to press to enter into setup. Of course, technically it's not called setup, it's called the BIOS. Uh, so let's continue on to the BIOS. And this is the BIOS screen. Uh, it's kind of primitive. It's the software that runs the hardware before you get into Windows. Um, but uh, there's no mouse here, there's just using the arrow keys on the keyboard. And I can't really tell you what setting you're looking for, but I know it's going to be called something like boot device priority, boot sequence, boot something. Uh, please do not ask me for help on how to navigate your BIOS. This is something you're going to have to kind of figure out yourself. Every computer is different on this regard because every motherboard manufacturer makes it differently. Even though there's really only a couple of BIOS manufacturers, there's a whole range of different ways of navigating through these screens. So you're looking for something that says boot device priority or boot sequence or whatever. Um, press enter on it and then make sure that you have CD-ROM before you have hard drive. Or it may say optical drive or DVD-ROM or something like that. If you set hard drive to last, you, you'll know everything else will be in front of it. Um, but as you can see, I have CD-ROM before hard drive. So let me escape back out of that sub-menu and then go over to the exit screen and then exit saving changes. Make sure you exit saving changes. Make sure you have CD-ROM before hard drive. All right, so now that we've exit saving changes, it'll boot to the CD. The CD is a whole operating system and uh, will run off the CD because Windows won't wipe itself. We can't let it boot into Windows. Uh, so this is the ultimate boot CD collection of tools. It's got a menu. There's still no mouse here. Uh, but it's running off the CD at this point, and you want to go down to hard disk drive, which says HDD. So press enter, and then uh, go down to disk wiping, and press enter, and then there's Derek's boot and nuke. Uh, so press enter. All right, so now if you download it, the file from dban.org, dban.org, this is the screen you'll come to right away. If you used Ultimate Boot CD, you'll have those previous screens. There's a couple options here, F2 to learn about it, F3 for a list of commands, oh, hit F2, let's try that again, F3, these are all the different settings that you can do on it, um, there's also an option to do it manually, uh, a whole menu where you press enter to go into interactive mode, we're not going to do anything, um, usually what I tell people is either do auto nuke, which will wipe the hard drive three times so it's like painting over the graffiti with three coats of paint or you can do a DOD which will actually do it seven times will wipe the hard drive seven times uh, either one's fine depends on which one you want to do I'm gonna do auto nuke and then uh, enter and then this is gonna take a while this is a very small hard drive it's 16 gigabytes I don't think anybody even makes hard drives that small anymore uh, but it'll take about three hours to run with these three passes. There'll be a time up in the upper right corner as soon as it gets into it. Right now it's checking out the hardware and looking for things. Any storage device on the computer at this point will be erased. There will be no more Windows. I cannot stress that enough. So hopefully you have the Windows install disks and uh, you're able to give them to your friend or family that you're giving the computer to or they're willing to go buy a copy of Windows. As you can see it says uh, in the middle of the screen round one of one past one of three which means it's 
on the first pass. Uh, it's got a percentage, one point something percent through. Uh, there's a time in the upper right corner. That's actually going to get longer. It shows 41 minutes right now, but it's going to be about three hours. So this is the kind of thing you start and then go to bed for the night and then wake up in the morning and it'll tell you on a black screen that all of the uh, all of the discs have been erased. Uh, and then just let it run. I am going to stop it in the middle. It's not 2% through, uh, but you should definitely let it finish. So let me uh, take the CD out. You can take the CD out at this point. And then uh, I'm going to reboot the computer, restart. It's about 2% of the way through. Uh, but I want to stress that this will erase everything. As you can see, the computer is not booting into Windows. It does not know how to boot to Windows. Since I didn't let it finish, theoretically, someone could analyze the hard drive and still read the data on it and steal my personal information. So you should definitely let it finish until it tells you all the hard drives have been wiped. Uh, but this is a good way, and it's very dangerous. So I cannot stress enough that, yes, this will erase everything stored on the computer. So hopefully you have the installed disks to reinstall Windows when you're done. Or whoever you're giving the computer to will be able to go out and buy a copy of Windows to put on this computer. But this will definitely erase all personal data on the computer. So hopefully this video has benefited you and you'll get to use this software. Thank you for watching.